Hi, I'm Felix Librero, Professor Emeritus of the UP Open University. I'm a simple man, therefore I'm going to talk about a simple thing. Something that is uh, largely ignored by most uh, communication experts. I refer to what I call MDC contagion. Uh, MDC standing for mass communication, development communication, and corporate communication. You know, in the Philippines, when we engage in communication practices, we normally talk about, uh, we are engaged in mass communication if we are into general communication practices. When we engage in the discussion, or at least in communicating development messages, we say we are engaged in development communication. Or we call our work corporate communication when we are into convincing members of our organization and the public. Now, in this uh, simple discussion, I have borrowed a terminology from medical science called contagion. You see, I look at three strategies of communication, mass communication, development communication, and corporate communication. And so in uh, contagion theory, we talk about how things or how communication practices influence the behavior, the attitude, the level of knowledge of our audiences. And uh, that these different audiences normally would look at these levels of knowledge, attitudes, and behavior as a means of converging their knowledge levels and skills into a focus on a communication uh, purpose. Now, the thing that, uh, that happens here is that when we talk of contagion theory, when we talk of uh, uh, communication contagion, suppose we are engaged in the general practice of uh, informing. Now, let me, let me define that first. Uh, when I refer to mass communication here, I go back to the uh, traditional descriptor, all right? Now, so when I say mass communication, I am generally referring to informing and entertaining my audience. When I talk of development communication, I talk about informing and educating my audience. Whereas when I talk about corporate communication, I talk about informing and convincing members of the communication organization internally or externally. So let me, let me now put this into uh, some kind of a mixed form. When we engage in a communication practice, if we highlight mass communication, we should correspondingly lessen our uh, uh, focus on development communication or corporate communication. When we highlight development communication, then we lessen our response, our uh, uh, focus on development communication or corporate communication. And when we focus our attention on corporate communication, there is less emphasis on mass communication and development communication terminologies. So what's the basic difference? Well, the basic difference is really this. It's the context of our communication goal. We use the same techniques. We use the same uh, procedures. In fact, we use the same measures of uh, success and failure. In other words, those are the parameters. We are working on the same parameters. We are only differing in context. And that, that's how the uh, masscom, devcom, corporatecom contagion uh, works. 
for all our intents and purposes, therefore, uh, the intention really is to influence the levels of knowledge, attitudes, and behaviors of members of our audiences. Our audience in mass communication may be general, mass, or in development communication specific or uh, focused, or in corporate communication, members of our organization or internally or members of the uh, uh, public who are in fact using the products of the organization. So this is how we look at it. Now, in the, uh, in the start of this uh, discussion, I mentioned the fact that uh, in the practice of communication, sometimes we overemphasize our role as mass communicator or development communicator or corporate communicator. Well, that's only for us. I would imagine that's only for us as communicators. But the entire practice really is that it is based on the context of that or the content. Now, so. If you want to, uh, oh, by the way, uh, before I forget, uh, uh, the reason why it becomes important to focus on these things is that in communication, changes uh, happen all the time. In mass communication today, for instance, there are crossing over of concepts and practices so that uh, more and more mass communication experts in North America are looking at the possibility of media communication taking over. So there seems to be a crossover already. In development communication, there are experts in communication, in development communication, who now believe that perhaps we should not overemphasize the concept of development in the field of development communication. After all, what we do is really simply communication, period. Now, we say mass communication, we have an end goal there. We say development communication, we have a separate end goal there. We say corporate communication, we have an intention to satisfy. But overall, when we talk of communication, this is all we do. We communicate using the same skills, using the same levels of knowledge, we using, in fact, measuring our communication uh, impact using specific behaviors of our audiences. So that, to me, is uh, the simple explanation of the concept of uh, communication contagion. And uh, while this may not be expressed as as often and as conveniently in communication courses. This is what all of us communica communication experts should bear in mind when we do specific communication work. That, to me, is what I refer to as the MDZ contagion or the MassCom, DevCom, corporate communication contagion. Thank you. <laughs>